how can I advertise my ebook on BookBub? Stay tuned for today's video on how you can do just that. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing my insights about all things self-publishing with you. Before I get started on today's topic, please be sure to click the subscribe button below. That way you can be here every week as I release new videos on all things self-publishing and how you can make a career out of being an author. I started doing paid ads back in 2019 with Amazon. I did a whole series of videos on how that worked for me. It was not an overwhelming success with the fiction books that I had released at that point, but I heard that many people often find success with advertising nonfiction books because that answers for a more specific need. After trying Amazon marketing services, AMS ads, or now, or now Amazon advertising, and seeing mediocre success, I finally decided to give BookAbub partner ads a try. Now note here, this is not their daily deal. This is their cost per click ads that run on their network. So these are the ads that run in their newsletters, but it's just an image with a book cover, a short tagline, and a big red button. It looks like an ad because it is an ad. So I did ads for my nonfiction books with BookBub first, self-publishing for the first time author and book marketing for the first time author. And then I also included an ad for the infinite infinite, I wasn't sure if the same nonfiction logic would apply here. If book lovers of all kinds are on BookBub, maybe people who like fiction are here too. So I wanted to be able to test the audience. I did find that the audience sizes were much bigger for fiction, so that was great. Um, and I started to see that after a few days, some of the ads I got had no clicks. That means it's time to optimize the ad tagline, but there's no way to go in and just edit the text. So I had to pause the current campaign, copy it, right in the new ad text. So it's a bit of a pain, but now I have a clear segment of what did and didn't work. So I'm gonna show you in the screen cap here how I set up an ad for Nail Biters. So Nail Biters is the first book in a series. I've also heard that advertising works better when you have a series because you may not recoup all of your return on investment on that first book with the ads you're doing, but if the reader continues to read more in your series, then there's a chance that you'll continue to get them hooked and earn back the royalties on your ad spend. So that that is what I'm showing you here in the um, screen cap, what I'm working on. So as you can see, I'm adding in the text. It's very limited size. I'm adding in categories as well as lookalike authors. Obviously, I think very highly of myself that I am putting likenings to Stephen King and Margaret Atwood, um, but this book is more sci-fi speculative fiction, and those two authors are ones that I try to emulate. I also wanted this to go out to a larger number of people. I could have refined it further to get more targeted and maybe um, get the right person, but this is the first ad I'm doing for nail biters, so I wanna make sure it's nice and wide and open and I can refine from there. In general, it took me a few weeks to start seeing clicks on those first ads that I ran. I did have it set at the time that I was targeting Amazon while I had ads going on for those same books on Amazon at the same time. Um, so Apple, Kobo, Google Play, etc., were all going to be part of my targeting. Now for Apple, Kobo, and Barnes & Noble, I get access to those ad networks through Smashwords. So I don't get hourly updates on sales from them like I would with Amazon or Google Play. I did see a spike in sales around the same time that I started the ads, but I can't say 100% that it was the ads that resulted in those sales. Same with Google Play. I did see book sales that month, um, higher than what they usually would have been, but for all of us who use Google Play Books, we know the interface there has um, a lot to be desired in terms of actually seeing what the sales are the day that they happen and getting reporting on it. Super clunky right now. Overall, using the BookBub cost per click ebook ads wasn't a huge win, but it wasn't a huge failure either. I still have ads running in the background because I may incur a dollar a week in ad cost for my current ads, but I'm also still seeing these residual sales come through where I just think I don't know where else these sales would be coming from. So I do think that they're still helping. If I start to see that the price goes up with no results, I'm definitely going to shut it off though. Still not sold on the ideal of the daily deal. It's just so expensive, but maybe I'll get there one day. 
Okay, so that was my experience testing ads with BookBub. What has your experience been? Have you liked it? Have you not liked it? Was it successful for you? Was it a total failure? I definitely want to hear more below in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys, so please let me know. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. That way YouTube knows that you're getting value from the videos I'm putting out and then they can get these videos in front of other authors like us. Now you can get back to writing your book.